Okay, so what we got here next is we're gonna do something totally different. I learned a new way to do the eyes thanks to Dennis Steed. I gotta give him credit for this because I didn't know how it was done up until I watched him do it. Uh, we're not gonna be gluing the eyes on a resin coat and we're gonna, we're gonna go something that everybody's probably got access to except for maybe these little tools. These little tools come off Amazon, get them in a pack. I don't know, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. There were seven of them. They come in these tubes like this. They are used for fingernail art. But what we're going to do is we're going to use these two and we're going to paint eyes on a jig head. But like I said, I can't take credit for this. This was, uh, I seen Dennis Steed doing it. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I tried this and tried it and tried it and I never could get the eyes to paint on right. These little tools will make a huge difference because they got that little ball there on the end of it and that little ball is going to hold the paint. And you're just going to put a little dab of paint on the end of that and you're just going to kind of touch the jig head with it and that paint comes off. It makes a perfect little eye or pretty close to a perfect little eye. Um, so what we're going to do is I went with some colors that are going to be easy to see. So I got a 16th ounce pill head, number four steel head hook and a vise. Uh, so what we've got is we've got these little bottles of paint, acrylic paint that you can get from Walmart. And I'm pretty sure these, uh, this this bottle I bought, I think that bottle was, it was a year or so ago when I bought it. I think it was like $8. It was at Walmart. My wife had some. I went up and rated her stuff and uh, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna shake this white acrylic paint up. I'm gonna turn it upside down where there's just a little bit of paint left in the bottom of this cap. I'm gonna unscrew it. And I'm just gonna use that to load this little ball up in. And I'm using the biggest one that came in that pack to put the base eye on with. I'm gonna get the jig head laid completely over on its side because I'm afraid if I do it this way, it's going to run. So we're going to do it this way. Then I'll, you'll, you'll see there's maybe just when I go down, I'm putting just a drop on and then maybe moving it just a little bit, just to try to get a good circular eye. But I'm going to take the little ball and I'm just going to dip it right into that paint. I'm going to load paint right onto the end of it. Meaning that I'm shaky. I'm going to brace myself up here on the vise just a little bit. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna put just a little, I'm just gonna touch that jig head. I've done it a whole lot smoother the first go around. I don't think I had enough paint on it. And I'm just kind of moving it around in that drop of paint. What you end up with, you end up with that perfect little white eye. All right, so we're gonna roll it the other way. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna put another little drop right here on this side of the head. We'll put another little bit more paint on it. I might've been going big enough for the side that I needed to do it twice. That's all we're gonna do is you're just kind of letting that drip come off the ball of this little fingernail art tool and just dabbing it on. So we ended up with a perfect size painted on eye. And I was really impressed with this process. I didn't really think it was gonna work that good until I ordered these off Amazon and they were pretty cheap. They were, I think $9 for all of these. They come in, there's different sizes you get when you get them in that pack. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set this one off to the side. And this is the way I've been, I've been kind of messing with it is I've been putting on my white base coat eye, set them off to the side and then bringing them back and then putting on whatever. After this, you can do whatever color you want. Since you got that white base, you can do a red, you can do yellow, you can do green, uh, orange, but we're gonna go back and we're gonna put another little black dot inside that white dot. 
but I'm going with black and white because it's going to be the easiest to show up and the easiest to kind of kind of work with. And I'm going to check my other ones and see if they're ready to. I don't think they quite are, um, but we're going to come back and we're going to put a black dot inside all of those. Okay, so we're going to go back. It, I ain't going to lie. It takes a minute to get that first base to kind of dry to where you can put the next one on. Like I said, do like, if you're going to do like a dozen of them, you know, when you get done painting the white on, go back to your first one and then get ready to put your second base coat in for like your pupil or whatever you want to call it. Um, it might take a little bit longer than that to dry. It might take a little less than that to dry. It kind of depends. It's kind of cool down here this morning, so I'm not expecting it to dry super fast. But what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next size of one of these. Just a little bit smaller than the first one you put it on with. And we're going to just touch a little black spot right there in the middle of it. Kind of give it like a pupil effect. So you shake the paint up. Just turn it upside down. And then take your cap off. And I should leave enough paint inside your cap that you can do this with. And it's like I said, it's cold down here this morning. So that paint's a little bit thick. Um, we're just going to dip the very tip of that in that black. And then I'm just going to touch right there in the very center of that white that white spot. Let's see if I can hit right there in the center. Got it. So there you are with, your, with the pupil to your jig. I'm gonna roll this this one over. I'm gonna do it the same way. We're gonna touch right, smack dead in the middle of that white one. Got it. I got it first shot. I didn't think I would. Uh, I was afraid that this next size one up was gonna be a little bit too big, and I was gonna end up hitting the edges of it. Which you know, it, it's not gonna matter. You get a little bit of that pupil over on the eye. Crop you ain't gonna care that much about it. It's kind of more. You know, you want, a jig, you want an eye on your jig head and you don't want to go, you know, buying the big sheets of eyes and all that stuff. And you, you don't, you know, want to get in there all tedious and trying to get that eye to stick just right. I mean, because sometimes I will admit that becomes a pain in the butt. Uh, this is pretty cheap. I mean, you've seen how much of that paint I use for each one of these eyes. That little thing of paint, you know, and they come in hundreds of colors. It's all at Walmart. I think it was somewhere between six to nine dollars for that thing, and I bet you could probably do, you know, no more than what we're doing. Just drop, drop, drop. Probably paint a million jig highs with, on with this stuff. Um, it's simple. It's easy. Everybody's got a Walmart pretty close to them, um, and it works. It's effective. It looks right. It looks good. If you want to stop at just the white spot, stop at just the white spot, but. That's how to paint an eye on a jig head. And like I said, it took me a while. I can't, I can't, I can't take credit for it. I watched somebody else do it. I watched Dennis Steed do it. I found these, look them up on Amazon under like nail art. Um, like I said, it comes in like a pack of six or seven of them. I want to say they were, I really think they were like seven ninety eight or something like that. Um, so, if you don't want to, the sticker sheets, you don't want to get tedious with sticking those eyes on, the eyes falling off on the floor. I mean, you look, there's a stray eye laying on that tube. It happens, but okay, we got that part done. Let's let's tie a jig up. I haven't, I've been working a lot of overtime this week. I haven't tied anything up. Uh, but like I said, we have got a 16th ounce pill head with a steel head hook on this jig head. We're going to be using orange, or not orange, but chartreuse, Danville's 210 waxed thread. And we're going to just throw some crazy, I think we're going to go like an orange black head, orange tail, and a chartreuse body on this one. Even though I'm using a steel head hook, just the same way I'm going right down to the point of the hook. Coming right back up to the head. We're going to stop right there. I'm gonna put in, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tie this one with uh, hairline dubbins, marabou blood quills orange. I don't tie a whole lot of marabou, but honestly, with the price and as hard as it's starting to get to get a hackle, 
You're gonna see marabou a lot in my jigs from for quite a while here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, seems like marabou is a lot easier and a lot cheaper to find right now than um, Hako is. So it's a good alternative to what, you, what you've been working with. And we're gonna pinch off just enough to fill this jig up. Pull it off those marabou quills. I'm gonna cut it about halfway down that feather. I don't wet it down. I don't like, I wanna see it tied. I wanna see it when I'm done. I wanna see the tail fluffy. That's why I don't, um, you don't see me wet it down very often. Gonna lay that marabou right on top of the shank of that hook and we're gonna try to push it around with our fingers. We're gonna catch it, we're gonna give it some good, nice, snug wraps, not super tight wraps, but just snug. Right down to the point of the hook. That's actually gonna make a pretty marabou jig. Marabou, I'm, I'm bad at it and I apologize. Marabou has so much more action than Hackle does. Um, if you're not tying with marabou, it's one of those materials that you probably should, especially vertical jigging, because you're gonna have that fluctuation, that pulsation with that tail when it's under the water when you're vertical jigging. I'll put that flash right on the back of that hook. We're gonna bring it back up. It's starting to get just a little bit snugger with each each wrap. We're gonna be using a medium medium chartreuse Chanel. We're gonna wrap that in right behind the head. Tie it all the way back up. Stop right there. We're gonna put just a little bit of a glue base on the back side back here where there's no feathers. It's all pulled down nice and tight. We'll put it right there on top of that body. We're just gonna brush it on just a little bit. Don't take a whole lot right there in that spot. Uh, pull our bobbin back down. We're gonna wrap it. One more. We're gonna let our bobbin change sides. Pull it up there. Some wraps right behind the head. I'm gonna try to do this without getting that black spot. The pupil is still probably just a little bit wet, so I whip finish. I might have to be pretty careful as I'm not hitting that. Let's reach up in there, snip it off. Let's get our whip finish tool. Let's see if I can do this without screwing the eye up. But the whole purpose of this video was to show you how to put those eyes on. You don't have to have the stickers. Um, And what I do when I get done, I'm actually having to concentrate on that so I don't hit that black spot. Got it. What I do when I get done from here, and it's wet, so I really can't show you, but what I do is brush that UV resin on over top that. You know, put it over top the eye, help protect, help protect the head, help protect the eyes. Uh, that way you've got a super shiny, super protected jig head. Um, if you haven't tried this, I, I strongly encourage you to go to Walmart, get the acrylic paint, order the nail art thing off Amazon. Uh, it was simple, so simple. Even I have to watch, you know, you even I watch YouTube videos sometimes and learn something new. I'm always learning something new and I always watch somebody else tie because you never know what they got that you've been trying to do. I don't care if you've been tying jigs for 30 years, somebody has perfected a way they do it that might help you be able to incorporate into your jig what you can do to change it, to make it better, uh, make it easier, make it faster, more streamlined. But I hope that helps y'all figure out, you know, how to paint those eyes on. Our acrylic paint from Walmart, nail art tools off Amazon, and you're rolling, you're back in business. Uh, and you don't have to worry about the stick on eyes. You don't have to have the pill, and I should have done this with a round ball head. You do not have to have the pill head to make this paint work. You can do it with a round ball head, just the exact same uh, 
thought I had one out there on the table, but I don't. You can do it with the round ball head. It'll do it the exact same way. So you do not have to have that pill head to do this. You can do it with the round ball head. Any questions, comments, let me know. Don't forget, please like, share, subscribe. Um, until then, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the subs. I appreciate all the comments, all the remarks, the questions. Keep them rolling. It keeps me busy. It keeps me wanting to do this. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, I will see you later.